prejudice and intolerance are tolerated, they are as well condoned and encouraged. We urge all of you to continue to be strong forces to educate young people and help counteract all of the recent divisive rhetoric. Recognize the danger. Let me ask all of you also to be the force that helps to build bridges, especially for our marginalized neighbors. So much more than bridges over rivers and highways, build bridges of love, bridges of hope, and bridges of understanding. Let there be bridges of opportunity, too. Let bridges such as all of these take us all where we otherwise could not go. So that has small organizations. It, it's, we, we try almost never, I can't say never, we try almost never to give money to organizations that have greater assets than our foundation has. And I'm talking about the physicians uh, at Finders Health, I'm talking about as distinguished from uh, Finders in Health. Uh, I'm sure the MFA and, 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 and a bunch of them, certainly Harvard and MIT, and, but we're looking much more to support small local organizations, and as you heard in the introduction, there's about $25 million a year that we're distributing in three counties, Essex, Suffolk, and Middlesex, and they're going to Cub Scout packs, they're going to <coughs> anti-recidivism centers, they're going to soup kitchens, and maybe there'd be a soup kitchen in a church or a synagogue. That's fine, but not, not, to, not for church activities per se. Uh, we've we've uh, given quite a bit of support to Catholic charities, but not to support churches. We've given quite a bit of support to Holocaust and genocide education, uh, both at Tufts and at Salem State University. Each each of those programs has gotten a million dollar grant, uh, and we've done some. Some specific grants, and certainly the coming school at, at Tufts University was was that's a special purpose situation there, and, and, and perhaps understandable and, um, from the, the background and my background at Tufts. But most of it all was going to small organizations. As a, I I remember hearing from one after school program here in Medford that that just was so shocked, you know, to get ten thousand dollars a year forward for, for 10 years and we had uh, we've got other things that we do that are sometimes get a whole lot more attention we've got a program that every it, it was about 370 employees with Cummings properties today and every colleague with the company gets a thousand dollars every every Thanksgiving time we call it staff giving at Thanksgiving to give to their favorite local charity and they're the ones who are, and they get either a thousand or two thousand, depending on their seniority, how long they've, how long they've been there. And uh, actually, this year for the first time, we added our long-term clients as well. And we've got a lot of long, long-term clients. Uh, one of them up to 43 years, but that one really tickles people because these are the, the people who are giving these checks out for a thousand dollars. The vast majority of them would never be in a position to give a thousand dollars to unless there was in a will or something. They just, it just doesn't fit most, most lifestyles. But to walk in and you know do that type of thing, where it's usually <coughs> unexpected, and oftentimes they'll get together, because the, the staff know they, they're going to get this every year, and any one employee can <coughs> collect donations from other employees, up to four other employees can get together, and, and you can agitate for you know, to go to my charity, this one here, next year I'll, I'll get help for yours. And that works out very nicely. And it's uh, the type of thing that they become family decisions, what's gonna happen. And then oftentimes the employees will go with their kids and make the donation. And the number of the organizations we touch that way is just, it's very, uh, it, it's, it's, 
very meaningful to the staff who are, after all, the reasons why we can give the money away. I didn't make all this money. I mean, the, the, the whole team that we put together has been doing it for, you know, for a lot of years, and it's just a different way of doing things, but it, you know, it works, and this gives them a, a feeling, at least, for what it's like. The other thing that is, and I said I was going to go to questions. You better have questions for me when I finally stop. <laughs> okay. The other thing that is really very meaningful uh, is the volunteers that we have. Anybody here have been a volunteer for the foundation? None, none, a couple of colleagues here, but okay. So we, we've got probably, um, Cindy, what have we got, 63? Uh, uh, volunteers or, or thereabouts. And, and, and Cindy has is, 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 um, is just been my rock in terms of managing the book sale, by the way, and, and the other strong supporter here is Natalie Breen, who's back here. Where's Natalie? Right over here. Uh, mm -hmm. Natalie has been with us for a year or so, and uh, she's threatening to, to run for alderman, for city council member, <laughs> shortly, and I told her she still has to work 18 hours a, over the weekend every week. <laughs> so, we, the, it, there's all kinds of different ways to, to try to do philanthropy and do it differently, but what we're doing is most significant majority of these 100 for 100 grants are actually totally decided by the volunteers. We've had three or four, I've forgotten, college presidents who have served as volunteers. <coughs> we have we had the development director at the Boston Museum of Science. Love doing it. All the time she's been out making the <coughs> you know, money to be the, on the other side of the table talking to people and decide who's going to get it. We have a lot of, we form a lot of committees using the volunteers in combination with our rank and file colleagues who will, each committee will be given the 10 final, 10 of the finalists. And they will have to pick out five winners. So your whole bunch of committees are all picking out five out of the 10. And what they're doing is just selecting five organizations to get a hundred thousand dollars each. You know, so it's, it, it's, it's big big dollars, but they've been pre-selected, and the, the, the overall group comes in, and there's this many, and the computer cuts it down to this many, and then the, 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 the uh, letter of inquiry cuts it down to this many, and then we, we submit, then those get invited to submit an full application, and it gets down to 200, and then finally they get divvied up to the various grant decision, final decision committees, and they give them up. So, but it's, they've already been looked at, so there's no bums in there. And we've got an accounting firm that, that analyzes their, their paperwork and, and gives us a, you know, a, a, vol a volunteer firm again, I should say. The foundation has one paid employee. Joel Sweats is our executive director. He's the only paid employee. So we use all of these unrelated volunteers to do the grant making, to do the decisions, to do the deciding. And, and we use our our own pay Cummings property staff just to do in kind in kind labor. Okay, have we got any questions somewhere?